Ladies and gentlemen, good evening, and welcome to Veggie Plays Thomas Was Alone. Oh my goodness, how much I adore this game. I know I say that about every game I've played so far, but this is the one game I will tell you to stop watching this video and go buy this game right now. I'll put the link to the Steam page in the description, I'll put the link to the developers page in the description, and I will put a link to the soundtrack Bandcamp page in the description as well. I actually just went out and bought it. It's downloading as I'm running this game right now. It is just so, so wonderful of an experience that I want to share it with you guys. I haven't played it in months, but they just put out a new expansion for free, so if you already own the game and you haven't played it in a while, the new expansion will be there for you. But I'm going to go out and just play this game from the beginning. It's a platformer where the characters are a little bit different than you'd expect. If you haven't played this game, I think you're in for a great treat. I, I just love this game so much, I'm gonna stop gushing and just start playing. So here we go. The program was a failure. People forget this. It was a massive flop. The coders started adding name strings to the AIs as a joke. Thomas wasn't special, he was just an AI in the right place at the right time. Thomas was alone. Wow. A weird first thought to have. Yep. This is Thomas. He's a rectangle. And he, over the course of this game, like, what, the first time I played this game, I, no, I'm, I'm not even going to tell you any more about it, but just, this is Thomas. And the objective of each level is to get to these little white rectangles over here. So let's do that and carry on. Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity. And you just move One, around? The whole alone thing. Two, portals. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. Three, falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. He was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. See, that's where this game is very special. It, it's narrated. There's no actual spoken dialogue by any... by Thomas at any point in the game. It's all narrated by a guy called Danny Wallace. I think he's the same guy who played the British character in the Assassin's Creed games, but I never played those, so I'm not sure. But the whole game is narrated, and that's how you connect to all these characters. They just... The narration just tells you about them. The character doesn't say anything themselves. It's just all given to you, and just you you grow to love you grow to love Thomas just so so much. Oh, little Thomas, how much we believe in you. Okay, interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think. What if there was some kind of inverted fall, some way to? What's the word? Jump. Like that. See? It worked. Thomas had solved the great inverted fall mystery. <laughs> oh, the charm. Oh, the charm. Just, how have you not bought this game yet? Oh. <laughs> I also won't be talking very much in this series, because uh, I am going to do more of this game, whether you want me to or not. I'm just going to just play this. But I hope that you do want me to. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, but I'm just going to keep playing this game because I love this game so much. I'm only going to do the first batch of levels for the time being, and then I'm going to keep going. But I'm only going to do the first batch, and then, you know, just so, you, just so I don't spoil the whole thing in one go. Ah, challenge. A big jump. But Thomas noted there was no real danger in missing it. The world didn't want him to fail here. It was pushing him, but gently. See? So, you don't actually fall out of the world. It just lets you keep trying until you get there. Because that's how the world works. You never actually fail at anything unless you tell yourself that you do. You can always keep trying. You can always get back up and go again. And if you don't make it, try again. I also won't be talking very much 
as much in this video as I do in other games, just because the narration is so present, but I'll talk when it stops. So, oh, okay, I'm actually starting to have a little bit of trouble with this jump now. Ah, oh, oh, it's so close. I gotta do it from the very edge of this stage. Nope. Oh, and also, the longer you hold down the jump key, the higher you jump. It's sort of like Mario in that guy. So, hold it. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, water. 0.5. All right. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, oh he god. Starting to suspect it might even be doing so on purpose. Yeah. Man, paranoia. So yeah, the sometimes the level does something scary like this. You just got to keep moving forward. Eventually, you'll be somewhere safe. Even if it doesn't seem like it, there's a way out. A safe, excuse me, safe way out. Hop, hop. There we go. Zero point six. Thomas wondered Oop. whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might or might not be important. See, see how much we're learning about Thomas? Just just from the description of him, at, and he's just a rectangle, but we're learning that he's curious and he just wants to understand the world around him. So that's, that's so great, because you know, there's usually, I'm not going to get into a rant about it, but this just... We're learning so much about this character, and he's just this little red rectangle. He's just so adorable and wonderful. <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> How charming. I actually tried to introduce this game to my mom, and she, <laughs> I genuinely did. And she made it about, like, a good set, a good bit of the way in. But then she had to give up because she's not used to platformers. <laughs> but Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. See, and sometimes the world might seem designed just for him. He wondered why was the world testing him? Oop. Oh no. No. Too obvious. See, and sometimes the world seems like it's a little too complicated for you, but if you put your head to it and you give it a little bit, a bit of a think, you think you'll figure your way up. You'll find a way. You'll get there. I don't know what that's about. Something about the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. I'm sure it's fine. He nope. made another mental note. Nope. <laughs> Four. Water. Not good. To be avoided. But see, even if you fall, you just get right back in. Even if you fall in boiling acidic water, actually you might not generally survive that, but <laughs> even if you fall into a dangerous situation, you'll, you'll get out of it, you'll get there. There's, 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 there is something safe. The world is, generally speaking, a safe place to live, even if it seems otherwise at times. What level is this? 0 0.9, I'm going to do one more level after this. No amount of observation or obsessive note-taking could combat that. Aww. Poor Tom. <laughs> See? He's alone and he's sad. But, you know, he just keeps his head to the grindstone. Just carries on. Keeps on keeping on. It may seem like the world is a big scary place. And that you're alone. Just, just carry on. Even if you are alone, there's nothing wrong with that. Even if you are a solitary being, even if you're single or just alone, if you don't have any family or friends nearby, as long as you're doing what makes you happy, as long as you're doing something that makes you feel at peace with yourself and just comfortable with the world, you're okay. Yeah? The world is an okay place, and you should feel comfortable and confident in yourself and the world around you. Come, come. <laughs> oh, 
I wasn't expecting to get philosophical in this video, but Thomas had a new theory. <laughs> the world was training him. Yes. He could feel himself getting smarter. There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, Oop. he'd become a Oop. pretty skilled Funky. jumper. See, the world is testing you. He was evolving. He just wished he had someone to share it with. Oh, poor Thomas. But that's that's the best way to look at the world. If it's if it seems like it's very difficult, if it seems like it's just harsh and problematic, you know, it's just it's just trying to take a test of your skills, and you may not necessarily have the skills. Like I'm having trouble getting over it. There we go. But you no, know, just try and look at the world a little bit differently. You know, take some time, observe it, figure out how to move on. It's 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 just it's not trying to. If the world isn't trying to kill you, it's just testing your ability to observe what's around you Oop. and figure out how to manage a situation at any given point. I submitted hundreds of bug reports that told that idiot it would happen, overlapping scripts, more than one AI was bound to be spawned, that little error changed everything. What's this? A second character? Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? And this is Chris. Say hello to Chris. And we're immediately learning that he's a little grumpy guy, but he's a little angry. And Thomas is a little curious guy. But anyway, I'm going to stop this here now that we've met Chris. And hopefully you guys come back for the rest of this game because I just love it so, 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 so much link to the, the Steam page and the store page and the soundtrack page are all in the description and hopefully you guys want to see some more of this. If you want to see some more, put your uh, put it in the comments below. If you don't want to see some more, put it in the comments below, but honestly, I'm just going to keep playing this even if I don't do it on camera because I, but I, I, will, I want to play it on camera with you guys. I want you to experience this story with me. I want you to experience the journey of Thomas and Chris and other characters that we might meet. Who knows, there may be more quadrilaterals out there in the world. Anyway, thank you for joining me on this Veggie Plays, and I'll see you in the next video. Talk to you then. Bye!